Uh, yep, so there's Burning Abyss on uh, Timothy Bailey's side. Looks like he forgot to unside, so good thing he remembered to do that just now. <laughs> And we'll see what uh, David is playing in just a moment as soon as we get into that. But uh, I'm a little excited to see Burning Abyss right now. Uh, you know, uh, for those of you who don't know, of course, I'm sure you all do, but we are using the ARG ban list uh, for the first time ever. And for that ban list, uh, Burning Abyss was hit on two fronts. Uh, Seer went down to one, and Dante went down to two. And a lot of people were a little bit worried about how that was going to work out. But you know what? Ultimately, when you think about it, the Burning Abyss excelled at one thing for a really long time. And you know what that thing was? OTK. You know what you can still do with two Dantes? OTK. Yep. Double Dante and Acid Golem, Acid Golem is the name of the game. So we'll see if that's what we're pulling out here. Uh, and then on the other hand, of course, we still don't know what David's playing. Uh, he's shuffling those, like, way down, so we can't even see it. All right, so a solid roll. All right, so it looks like Timothy is going to make our choice as to who is going first. And these guys are just making sure these decks are fully shuffled. I'll be right back. Looks like we're getting ready to get started here. So always good to have that friendly handshake. And what do we got over here? Oh, it looks like that. Oh, I'm pretty sure I saw a D draw. So I think that we see Destiny Heroes over here. But you know what? Maybe, I, I don't know, my eyes might be deceiving me. We'll find out first shortly. I'm pretty hyped if so because we get that second chance to summon Stratos. Yo, if it is Heroes, Destiny Draw is my favorite hero. Yo, I think I saw it. I think I'm pretty sure. That definitely looks like D draw. Yeah, I see a lot of white I think on a spell. I see card. a lot of draw cards. I'm pretty sure there was a trade in in there. Wait, did what? The dream. Oh, <laughs> that's spicy. So let's see what we're gonna do here. Are we going for a? Uh, traditional Dante. Yep, we're going for that Dante play. That's one of our Dantes coming out. Or maybe not. Clearly he's going for Alucard. Yeah, he's thinking about that. Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well then. Just Josh. Yeah. So let's see if we get those oh, good mills. Crush, MST. And another Skarm, which is a little unfortunate, but overall not too bad. So we're attacking here. And it's a Plague Spreader, so this is definitely going to be D Heroes. Oh, man. Y'all just put it in there right now. Yeah, there's one deck I know. That plays Plague Spreader? Yep, that is a Destiny draw right there. Yep. I'm hyped. You guys should be hyped, too. This is a deck that hasn't seen a lot of play since, of course, Stratus was hit. Bring the hype. But five back row. That's insane. How do you deal with Burning Abyss with five back row? Because they're playing Fiend Grieving. If they're going to be like Activate Plague Spreader, and they're well going to be like Fiend Grieving. Well, if three of them... Or Fire Lake, he's in an okay position. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if three of them are Fire Lake, then, um, yeah, I have no more comments. <laughs> oh, but there's a Grafe. A <laughs> Grafe? Grafe. Hit you for one. That Did you, like, turn Mills Scottish turn, on right? me? Yeah. Oh, you summoned the Grafe. <laughs> oh, the Grafe. Forty-five. All right. Goes down to forty-five. So there's that Stratus we've all been looking for. Are we gonna get to see some overwhelming plays with it? Dude, I want to see some. Oh, you know what? what? That's gonna be crazy because he's gonna get so many draws off of that. I bet he. Which do you think is gonna? Uh, is is it a trade in? And uh, did I see a trade in? And I think I did. The second card. I'm, except, I'm expecting a breakthrough skill. I don't know why. Okay, I guess not. 
No, he's going malicious. Malicious. <laughs> All right, I, I think you're done. <laughs> I ain't. I ain't done. I ain't Dane. Are these even words you're saying? Who knows? That's what I want to know. Oh, they're yeah. All Deep right. Ah, <laughs> oh, plus infinity. The value plays here. Yeah. Like, I mean, the plague and the Mally and Grave is going to be a really big deal here. Unlike a lot of draw cards these days, D draws not once per turn. D draws once per as many Destiny heroes <laughs> that you discard. All right, so he's banishing a Mally in order to fetch someone another Mally. That's smart. If look at that smirk. Look at him. He's like, yeah, <laughs> you know, you you've been wanting to see I this mean, for if, a while. If he wants to draw more, it's smart to get the malicious out of the, out of the deck. So you don't draw it, or he's just doing something. So there's the Rota. The Rota. All right, I'll stop now. <laughs> oh, my boy. And look at that. It's an ulti. Look the how dude. pretty that is. Diamond guy. <laughs> Yo, in the in the Japanese version, they didn't have, they didn't have guy, cool he? names. They were all guys. There was, like, oh. evil guy that was malicious or something like that. Just power through that deck. Put that on top. Give me this. You guys actually have no idea how hyped I am that I, I get to actually watch this on live stream. was Diabolic Guy. Diabolic Guy? That's such a cool name. And Plasma was Blue D or Blood. Oh, and there's the fire like, oh, this may not end well. So two back rows and a plague spreader. Let's see what we have. Oh, the <laughs> second lance. What was the first lance on? Uh, whatever you use Raigeki break on. Okay. Wow, we're just going for all the back row here. Chain call. Oh. What? <laughs> no. And the other two back rows are gone as well, I believe. So what was that warning, warning and, and chain? chain. That's one thing that Burning Abyss does really well. Kill oh, things. you you <laughs> thought you thought you had a good field? Nah. But you know what? In this situation, David's actually not terrible. Yeah, There's still two more back row. Off. He still has the synchro play. Oh, the bar bar. I think. Is that why he has them banished? Um, I'm assuming so. I'm assuming he hit him for nine. That's the only thing I can think of that would yep. do that. So it looks like we're setting two so that he can go into the Void Ogre. Yeah, Void Ogre. Bring it out, baby. Negate all those fill and trap cards. Void Ogre. I Does need to read this warning? real quick. Uh, once per turn, if you have no cards in your hand, you can negate a spell or trap card. Oh. How many cards are in his hand? Zero. Oh. That's why he said his back row. <laughs> so, I remember this one. I mean, there was a time when I was playing Watts, and I played against this deck. And... Uh, Literally, the only thing that I was allowed to do was just keep drawing, like, Wabakus and stuff. <laughs> and so, therefore, just, I would, like, he'd draw for turn, and during his draw phase, I'd be like, Wabaku, I'm using Wabaku, because you have a card in your hand. Stop. <laughs> so all he has to do is wait for a moment when, uh, during his draw phase, he's still got a card in his hand, and then that's his moment to strike, since he does have all those really nice chainable back row cards. Uh, Fiend Griefing, he can obviously just banish it for the turn with, uh, um, Wow, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, Farfa, uh, he could hit it with a Fiend Swing Blast. He could Karma Cut it. There's a lot of options that he can do in order to out that thing. Plus, it doesn't, of course, stop monsters at all. So that tour guide that he just drew could do some significant work depending on what David's back row are. We do know that his Solemn Warning is gone. So that's something to think about. So tour here's guide. the tour guide. Well, if there's one card you really want normal summon, it's that. 
Yeah, it's, I've, I've heard it's a pretty good card. I think there's a reason that it's at one. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> If it was at three, this would be a pretty solid uh, burning abyss format. Yeah. I don't think anybody would disagree with you. Nah, it'd be destiny hero format, man. <laughs> it's back, and it's here Got for a new good. Trick. Nightmare Shark. I did it again. Refer overlaying. Um, that could be a blade uh, armor ninja. That could be a number of things. Castell, yeah, that way you it can could uh, be a Castell. permanently answer. Well, not permanently, because of course, you know, Dante still does things. But he has Voidogra for it. Negates it. Although he could have just been trying to bait him. And now he could have an actual permanent answer to that Void Ogre Dragon. Now it's two back rows versus two back rows. That's uh, huh? So it looks like he doesn't have an answer for it. So he takes three grand. Yep. Is Void Ogre Dragon once per turn during either player's turn? Yes, sir. Oh, nutty. Compulse, that's a pretty good card. Uh, too Especially bad the space found it. Yeah. But it would have been good to... Uh, Be able to bounce a Dante. Yeah, take out Dante without having to use Castell or something. So Crane Crane, going to see some work here. I believe the German version is Groose Groose. <laughs> Groose Groose? No, the German version is uh Crunch Cron. <laughs> Cron is Cron. Crunch Cron. Italian version is Gru Gru. Maybe that's where I got that from. Yo wait, I missed it. I was looking at Crane Crane. I'm pretty but sure he, that uh, he, he the Bernardo player had to. Did he? I, I assume that's what happened. Maybe not. <sighs> yep, I missed it. <laughs> Yo, let's <laughs> hop over to the the live. Nope. You missed it again. My fault. <laughs> Why are you telling me about ridiculous names and making me look at your screen instead of the real screen? I blame Trevor, guys. But, uh, it's all yeah, his Tim, fault. Tim got that. Okay. It was Nightmare Shark. Yeah. It's a good prediction. I mean, when you want to go for game... So, they're going to side deck. I'm going to play a little bit of ads while they're doing that. We'll be right back All with right. Uh, game two.
Howdy. Right, guys, we're back with our game two of D Heroes versus Burning Abyss. Burning Abyss take a pretty decisive uh, game one thanks to uh, uh, Nightmare Shark attacking through Void Ogre. Doesn't really care what you have. It's yeah, coming for those life points. care if you can just go direct. It's like, why take a flight with a layover if you can just go direct? <laughs> if it's the same price. If it gets you there, it gets you there. That's a strong start. Stratos and Reffer. Wow. And what did he discard? He discarded Mally, too. That's, yeah, the special. That's going to be pretty broken. Uh, what is he going to overlay into here, you think? Is that a halberd in the, on the bottom? I don't think so. You can't what really make... That? He I don't know what Dark Reffer. What, what do you mean? In the graveyard. The Shadow Mist. Is that a Shadow Mist? Yeah. Okay. He used that to search Stratos, I think. Oh, okay. Missed that part. Is that Ptolemyus? Uh, it is. Or, I believe that he's going to... Or gonna Diamond or... Yeah, it's Ptolemyus, which I believe he's probably going to turn into a Pleiades. Um, or actually, he could just go into Diamond. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What What did he put under it, though? That looks like a Diamond that he put under it. Constellar, Satellar... No, that's di Diamond on top with a Ptolemyus on the bottom, under it, I think. No, that's, that's Ptolemyus on top, for sure. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently he can make Durandal. Yeah, that I don't know if that's the strongest <laughs> play to make though. <laughs> YOLO. I'm pretty sure that. Yeah, that was that. He's gonna go for. Uh, yeah, the good old Pleiades here. I think he's just gonna try and bust this wide open right now. Uh, he can just bounce. And then he's swinging in for 49-59. Yeah, and then Mass Change will be game if he, uh, if he just can attack directly with all of them, depending on what that back row is or what he draws. This could just be game right here. Uh, looks like uh, Diamond Dude. Yeah, Diamond Dude. So obviously we can... Hmm, interesting. Curious why he's doing it in this way. I'm sure there's a reason, but um, Anki can attack directly, but it only does half damage when it does that. So I don't know if that's the correct choice here. Like he could have just. A oh, you know what? Nope. He is definitely. He's gonna search for that Bubble Man. He's gonna summon. Oh, uh, there we go. Yep. Now I knew I see. we were missing something. Yeah. There's definitely a reason. question is how is he going to deal with the I guess if he um, if he uses Pleiades bounces in the back row or uh, if he would have done that last turn then he would have been in a really good position because he could have made um, he could special summon bubble man and make abyss dweller Dude. maybe he'll just bounce the monster and yellow it if he runs into a mirror force, so he yeah. will be pretty sick. Oh, I know. Uh, is that what a is that? Rogue Challenger Excalibur? It looks like it. I believe so. And now he's at. Man, 4K. he is actually just going for the YOLO play. Yeah. 
Will he just scoop it up? Find out next time. Well, Tim doesn't look happy. <laughs> so I'm sure if that was Mirror Force, then uh, he'd be looking a little happier. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, he could have just solved that by going into battle phase. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I'm dumb. <laughs> thinking I'm thinking of Valor. Valor. <laughs> I am thinking Valor. Lance. Oh. Well, yeah, I that's, need up. That's, that's, that's it. That's game. <laughs> that's all she wrote. Four. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. How much is that? I'm going to calculate it. 4,064. Um, a hundred and seventeen and then subtract eight. Okay. I think it's uh a hundred and nine thousand. See if my math's right. Boom. Look at me. I'm math. There genius. you go. Able to do that addition and subtraction. <laughs> that was a quick game too. All right, so let's Didn't find out what's going on. I didn't have to change life points. Yeah. I mean, that's what that's happens when you OTK, game. right? David looking pretty, uh, pretty calm and collected over there. So once again, uh, for those of you who may just be joining us, uh, this is ARG Charlotte. Uh, we're using the new ARG ban list, yep. so if you haven't seen it, head on over to the Alter Reality Games website, and you can check it out. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm actually list. just hit it in chat right yeah, now. Yeah, so you can go ahead and check it out on the chat if you don't aren't familiar with it. Um, a lot of good hits that made a lot of decks viable, uh, unlike other ban lists that we may have seen that... Uh, didn't quite answer the, the cries of fans, uh, but ARG has come to the rescue once again and made it so that we get to play Yu-Gi-Oh! as we would like to play it. Uh, and so, with that being said, we have just so many different cool decks out here. Uh, we're watching D-Heroes versus Burning Abyss, something that you probably haven't seen in a long time. <laughs> I mean, who uh, doesn't like a good D-Hero match? While they're still in between games, I'm going to use this time to promote... Uh Providence, Providence, Rhode Island. Let's hit up uh, so Providence next weekend. next weekend. Come on out. There's also uh, it's also the uh, 25K Circuit Series Championship. So if you've ever topped an event, then you can get in for free, correct? If you've, uh, isn't that how that I works? I don't know the details, but maybe. I, be <laughs> I believe that's how it's supposed to work. Like, if you've ever made top 16, I think, then you get a free invite. Uh, everybody else, uh, I think it requires 20 points in order to get in. Right. 20 players' points. I Don't quote me on that. I might Something be wrong. Like that, but that yeah. sounds about right. Uh, so yep. come on out. Have your chance to win. Part of that $25,000. August 14th through 16th, three-day yep. event. Come on out, definitely. Someone we'll be uh, back on the mic, and uh, my boy Phil Visu will be here with me. So the phenomenal EE -E once again. And real quickly, I know they're, they're starting their game, but uh, someone asked the prizes for the Players' Championship. Uh, first place, flight, hotel, and food to a Circuit Series weekend. Uh, an Xbox One or PlayStation 4. A trophy slash ring. I don't, I don't know if it's one or the other or both. I think you uh, An ARG token made after you, That's and free cool. entry to all Circuit Series events for the next season. That's awesome. That that alone, that last part, will definitely uh, save you some money. On top There's of, of course, second place is pretty similar minus the token, 
and the f uh, yeah, basically minus the token. Third place is a laptop and a flight to a circuit series. Lots of cool stuff. And also there's a malicious and a sh uh, channel mist on the field. So for the uh, thousands upon thousands of players who aren't going to Worlds, uh, hey, come on out. <laughs> Literally thousands. Actually, way more than thousands. Let's say, let's say tens of thousands. Dozens. <laughs> Literally dozens. Literally at let's least Let's just five. exclude the literal dozens that are going to Worlds. Yeah. Wow. There goes that graffer from the allure right. of darkness. But it doesn't even matter. It's a good thing he had that dark graffer so he didn't have to here. discard his whole hand. Wow, a normal summon. This man knows how to go off. Well, he's playing D-Hero. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to prove that the D does not stand for defeat here by taking game three against Tim Bailey. What could he be making? Some sort of... I bet it's a Void Ogre. Void Ogre Dragon? That card was nuts last game. Some sort of a dragon of the void. He's also a part ogre. And also he gets another malicious out, you know. This would be the part where he would make a lava <laughs> chain and dump another um, yep, um, plague. But we play at the ARG. And therefore, well, actually, even if we were playing Konami, uh, lava chain is too degenerate of a card. So no more of that. <laughs> degenerate. <laughs> That's also gone. Puns, yeah. are all, puns are also banned. <laughs> From here on out, uh, we'll have to keep Trevor So there's the, the Ptolemyus. So that is an incredibly strong play. That Void Ogre. That's six whole cards from five. And it's going to turn into a Pleiades. Maybe. That's an incredibly powerful play. Can Timothy do anything in response? Special Summon Farfa. That's a good start. Normal Summon Scar. That's also a decent start. Let's see. As we saw before, though, Fire Lake's pretty good here. Yeah. I mean, but Voido, the Fire Lake will definitely not happen. For Void many Ogre can stop it. That is a thing. Well, we've also got um, Ptolemus that could turn into Pleiades and during the end phase balance whatever problem card there is. You're right. You're right. <coughs> um, what other cards could Tim play? That would probably be one of the main things. I mean, Rikeki. it all depends on... <laughs> yeah, I guess you would. That would be, be a pretty, pretty good, good card. <laughs> Even Dark Hole... Which I think we have at three. Yeah. Yeah. Three dark hole, two torrential. But you know he does have a pretty good board. I don't think he would have wants a dark. No, hole. it's but, definitely you know, going to be hard to is break it. But Regeki would be a step in the correct direction. So it looks like we're going Alucard. Yep. He's trying to He's shallow, trying to shallow pop a couple cards, trying to get David to make a preemptive play before he makes anything. So it looks like brings out the Pleiades. Man, Pleiades is such a crazy card. It is. Last summer, you can just oh, make it willy-nilly. That's pretty sickening. You can't fight the law. <sighs> that wasn't even really a pun. No, that was just that <laughs> was just dirty. Everything about that was just dirty. All he can do is set those back rows. I know. And none of them are going to stop him. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is the end of the game. Unless he can use a card during the draw phase when that Void Ogre is in that moment when he can't do anything. However, David as the turn player, if he draws a quick play, he can use it immediately in order to make sure that he continues to have no cards in his turn, in his hand. He literally needed Regeki. But uh, David does play Lance. We saw the double Lance yeah. last game. 
So one of those was definitely Phoenix Wing Blast, so it looks like... That's, uh, that's game. <laughs> so which one's he hitting? That one? That's the Wing Blast. Nope, that's... Oh, it wasn't Wing Blast. I'm sorry, it was Fire Lake. So that leaves a breakthrough skill. And we're looking at game already, so... Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, and he's got an acid. Wow. D heroes wrap it up. What did I see? That was for anyone who wanted to see D heroes win. I uh, man, you got it. Astounding plays. A lot of just very, very good explosive plays. Landed David the victories that was uh, sick. in games two and three. So he will be moving on into round five. This was XO, wasn't it? Hmm? This is all still XO? Should be. It might be X1. Might be two and one. But no, I'm 